Hey everybody, it's Techmatic again over here at George Weber Chevrolet and today I want to go over the five biggest myths of Bluetooth pairing. I pair up over a hundred phones a month over here and there's five concerns that come up every single time. Today we're going to clear them up in my own cheesy version of Mythbusters. Myth number one is you need a smartphone to pair up via Bluetooth. Not true at all. I have paired up every phone from your prepaid track phone to your iPhone 5s and your Galaxy S4s. The biggest difference that you run in, depending on what kind of phone you have, is your accessibility to contacts. For some phones, at a push of a button, you can press it on the steering wheel and say, call George Weber Chevrolet, the system will recognize it and it'll dial through. But even if you have a more traditional cell phone, you'll still be able to press the button and say, dial 314-555, blah, 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 blah. And when a phone call comes in, it's still going to go through the speakers. You're still going to answer it on the steering wheel. And that's the number one thing is being able to keep your hands on the steering wheel and your eyes on the road. Myth busted! Myth number two is it costs money. It doesn't cost any extra money using your phone hands-free via Bluetooth than it does the traditional way. Talking to my customers, I realized that when we're a little less familiar about things, the first thing we think is, how much is this going to cost me? Doesn't cost you anything. Myth number two, busted! Myth number three is, my hands-free Bluetooth is tied into my hands-free calling on my OnStar system. Simply not true. Previously, when you had the hands-free ability and on OnStar, you'd press the button and make a call. Well, when you let OnStar lapse, you no longer had that ability. When you pair up your phone via Bluetooth, even if you decide to let your OnStar lapse, you still have full hands-free capabilities. I am the biggest proponent of OnStar. I think it's the greatest system around. But if you do decide to let your subscription go, you still have all the capabilities that you have via Bluetooth hands-free. Myth number three, Boston. Myth number four is, it's complicated. Like I said, I do over a hundred deliveries a month and I pair up phones all the time. I'm gonna show you exactly how easy it is to pair up a phone. You ready? Put me on the clock. Now I'm in the Silverado, so this one's easy, but all the systems are about this simple. Phone, pair device. I'm gonna go to my phone, I'm gonna go to settings, I'm gonna turn on my Bluetooth, see Chevrolet MyLink. I'm gonna pair, I'm gonna pair. Done, done, and done. And now, if I want to make a phone call, Command, please. Call George Weber Chevrolet in Columbia, Illinois. Call George Weber Chevrolet, correct? Absolutely. Pardon? Yes. How about that for cool? I don't know about you, but I think that's myth number four, busted. Okay, and the biggest myth that I ever run into, and it's a source of such contention, I have seen fistfights on the showroom floor over this one. So many people believe that the Bluetooth icon originates from an Irish king in the 13th century. No! It's totally a king of Denmark from the 10th century. Duh! Alright, I really only had four, but five's a better number, so I figured I'd come up with that. Sorry. Okay, so, like always, if you have any questions, if you need anything, give me a call, send me an email, and I'm always looking for more suggestions on the next video, what you guys are interested in, what you have questions about. So, let me know what you're interested in, and like always, thank you so much. See ya!